Welcome to another episode of The Wang Reviewer. In today's episode, we're going to install an M.2 NVMe to PCIe adapter. Most currently motherboards have either one or two slots for NVMe storage drives. I'm going to install a third NVMe drive using a PCIe adapter into my desktop. Currently, NVMe technology is the fastest read and write speed there is. A typical SSD drive, such as my Samsung Evoke, has a read and write up to 550 megabytes per second, whereas my Corsair MP600 NVMe drive can go up to 1800 megabytes per second. As you're watching, if you found this video helpful, please take the time to like and subscribe to the channel for similar video content. I recently built a new desktop for myself, a new 4K editing desktop. Uh, my previous G3-710 pre-built Acer desktop crashed on me, the motherboard died, and I decided to part those pieces out to build a new desktop. And what I built was, I got a, my new motherboard is X570 Pro Asus motherboard along with an AMD Ryzen 7 chip. And in that motherboard has dual M.2 slots and for that one, uh, I installed two Corsair MP600 G4 PCIe uh, one terabyte uh, SSDs on that motherboard. So both M.2 slots are full uh, with the Corsair. I didn't want to put in my, I didn't want to waste this one terabyte Intel 660p um, S NVMe SSD. And what I did was I went and got an adapter. Uh, this one is a micro connector brand M.2 PCIe adapter with covered heatsink. I'm going to install this onto here and plug into one of the empty PCIe slots I have on the motherboard. So let's take a look. I live in Canada and I purchased most of my computer parts from a place called Memory Express. I believe this is Canada's premier retailer in computer parts. Uh, I don't work for them, I'm not sponsored by them, but one of the limited retailers I have in Canada to purchase computer parts from that can actually go to a physical store. Uh, the brand is called Micro Connectors. The model number is PCIe-M20803HS. Some of the product information related to this uh, it supports only one M.2 PCIe times four SSD card, um, up to 30 to 80 millimeters long. Includes a large heat sink to prevent overheating and the resulting data transfer throttling. Gold clad surface mounting to helps dissipate heat and interchangeable regular and low profile brackets included. So the price was $24.99 is what I purchased it from. So I unboxed it. It comes with the two metal brackets, the, the heat sink, the PCIe adapter, uh, the screws, and two, I believe, heat sink pads. So I'm going to install this and we'll put it together. It does come with some instructions, as you can see here. It's nice, it's clearly marked with uh, pictures. The first step is to install the NVMe mounting screws first. Step two is to tape on the provided heat pads. Remember to peel off the plastic cover. Step three is to install the NVMe drive. Make sure that you secured it in place and then screw it to lock down the NVMe drive. Okay. 
Vista Force to install the second heat pad onto the actual NVMe drive itself. Again, remember to remove the plastic covering that protects the heat pad. Step five is to install the heatsink. Place it on top of the NVMe drive. Flip it over and then mount the four screws. For the sake of time, I'm just gonna speed up the footage at five times the speed. Now that the heatsink is installed, we're going to install the bracket. And after the bracket is done, we're ready to install it into the computer. But everything's put together and we're ready to put it into the computer. So let's take a look. Now that we installed the NVMe into this PCIe adapter, I am gonna mount it here. I have a spare PCIe slot here. This one here. Okay, nice and snug. Put it back in. Okay. That's it. We'll turn it on and we'll check the speeds. Just turn on the desktop. And one of the things I didn't realize when I purchased this adapter was it has RGB lighting that actually lights up the micro connector's brand name. Uh, I'm sure there's a way to turn off the light, but for now I'm just going to leave it on. So I'm just going to zoom in and show you what it looks like. It's just a blue light. And there. And all it shows is the micro connections light lighting up. Now I want to test the rewrite speed using the PCIe adapter on a PCIe 4 motherboard. So the motherboard I have is a Prime X570 Pro uh, made by Asus. I'm going to use Crystal Disk Mark to find out the rewrite speed uh, using the adapter. I'm just going to speed up the process here just so we can get through this quicker, giving us the final results of the reading. As you can see, based on the Intel specs, the sequential transfer rates reads up to 1800 millibytes per second and writes up to 800 millibytes per second. And based on the speed test that we did, uh, it's pretty close. The read was 1921 and 1785. So my final thoughts, it was very easy to install an NVMe drive into the PCIe adapter. The speeds are on par with the stated specs. I didn't see any speed throttling either through the motherboard or the PCIe adapter, which was really nice. And I'm very, overall, I'm very happy with the addition to my desktop. 
If you have any questions, <clears throat> please comment below. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel. And until next time.